Thanksgiving butternut squash two ways all month long. We have paired the perfect chefs and dishes to help you create a memorable holiday feast. Feast. Donatella Arpaia is the host of Unichef Uniting Through Food, premiering on TLC later this month. And Stephanie Izard is the chef and owner of Girl and the Goat, one of my favorite restaurants, and it's home of the new World Series champs. Yes. Donatella, <laughs> Stephanie, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're gonna, you're going to head start. up to the front, and what are we're we making, start cooking. Steph? We're making sort of a play on caponata that we're going to turn into a squash bruschetta. So Ooh. it's fun. We were saying celery root is kind of one of those vegetables that yeah, you look at. There's like, our what? grid. you got all kinds of great stuff, bacon, butter. Nut squash, yeah. you got cheese, you got peppers, and all kinds of meat. I stuff. think the the celery root's one of those you see at the grocery store. Like, mm -hmm. what do I do with that? And what do I do with butternut squash that's kind of unique and different? So we've got peppers, bacon, onions. We're gonna put in a little bit of butter and oil so mm -hmm. it'll help it roast in the oven. Right. Wanna throw that in there? Okay. Awesome. And we would just kind of season as we go. And this is what ends up coming out of the oven about 15 to 20 minutes later. It's all nice and just tender, but not mushy. Right. Really great. And then we're gonna add in some raisins nice. for a little bit of sweet, some pistachios for a little bit of crunch. Some sugar for a little bit more sweet, mm -hmm. capers for some saltiness, and a little bit of vinegar. So, kind of playing off a nice sweet and sour. We've got a little sort of, that's what caponata is in Italian oh, sweet okay. and sour. And I love that. And then we've got a little whipped feta. We're going to mm -hmm. top it with some of this. And could you substitute something for the feta if you didn't want to use that? Could you oh, use like a, uh, like a ricotta or something oh, like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, a little ricotta just smeared on there would be great. Smeared, I like that. Smeared, yeah, it's a good word. A little cream cheese. <laughs> yeah, this has some cream cheese in the feta, so it's nice. Ah. And then just some fresh basil mm -hmm. on top. It's a nice way to sort of have butternut squash as a snack when your guests come over. All right. That looks spectacular. <laughs> Look at this. That would be beautiful. Looking We're going to pair it with a lovely butternut squash soup. Yes, which is the biggest thing that people mm -hmm. have at, Here's at our Thanksgiving. Here's our grid, all kinds of Thanksgiving, stuff. Thanksgiving, yes. The unique thing about this is the spices. So mm -hmm. star anise, clove, peppercorn, and thyme. You want to tie this up for okay, me? Okay, you bet. Just tie it in a knot. Um, most people buy it cubed, and that's a great mm -hmm. time saver. Or we could just chop it up. Um, into quarter inch slices. I have some shallots. Are you going to seed that, that chunk yeah. right there? Yes. Of okay. Course. Do you want to seed it for me? Sure. But we don't have time on the Today Show because I'm it. sharing my time today with my friend. Sharing who is won caring. The World Series. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. So, so you got shallots. shallots, butternut squash. Mm -hmm. We add in our chicken broth. Where's that satchel? Oh, okay. The satchel is important because mm -hmm. this cooks down right. for about 25 minutes, and most awesome. importantly, mm -hmm. it. Um, Clove and star anise is very strong, but you want to take it out right beforehand and get your immersion blender. Make sure you go to the bottom, otherwise and what's it great gets about this, it's dairy-free, so yes, you don't have to worry about that. Yes, it's dairy-free. Don't worry, Tamron. She knows what she's doing. She knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> Harry, throw okay, yourself in front of Tamron. Now That's you have exactly four colors on your dress. Your time. <laughs> That's it. Good okay. Are you Most kidding? importantly, garnish. Mm -hmm. Come on in, Steph. I really get you. Yes, you did. I'm out. I'm I'll be sorry. back. Cameron Hall's dress provided by Butternut. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Honey. Honey, come back. <laughs> and you can put them in little cups for hors d'oeuvres. Very too. nice. Oh, That's this is good. This is really good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Did you like it, Harry? It's so good. That's oh, right. Yeah, it's and really it's delicious. It's even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, now you're two bowls. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Danger, Tamron. danger. <laughs> I love Donatella you, Stephanie, thank you so much. Uh, for all of our Thanksgiving <laughs> recipes, check out today.com slash food. And get this. Mark your calendar. November 23rd, over 30 chefs will be on our plaza for a pre-Thanksgiving celebration. Mm -hmm. It is going to be a Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Chef of Palooza. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.